Go. Hey guys, this is Lewis with Yu Gi Oh! Oh! I haven't been on this uh, channel for quite a long time. Uh, just haven't been into Yu Gi Oh a whole lot. I've been working on working on Bujans on the side though, and I have the deck done uh, as done as it's going to get right now. Uh, and so into the profile, it's Bujans. So you're not running the deck right if you're not running Triple Yamato. Dumb card. Yep, so dumb. Adds one and ditches one, and with all the good cards that. Uh, it's here to protect him, uh, like Triple Crane. It's honest for Bujins, except but better. That, uh, I wouldn't say but better. Okay, whatever. It doesn't last till the end. It doesn't last till the end of the turn, and it also only doubles, so it can be run over. So I wouldn't say better, but it's searchable, which makes it better in its own right. Uh, and then I have Double Mikazuchi. It's really good. I. I don't honestly think it's so good at the price point. I don't think it deserves the price point it's at right now. But it is good and useful. Two of it's really nice to have. And it looks like Chaz. The hair does, at least. That's the point of him. Um, I mean, he's a, he's a 1900, he's a Beast Warrior, and he's a Bujin. So he fits... If you don't have Yamato on the field, and you have Mikazuchi on the field... If Yamato was able to do a little bit of setup, you can run with the Kazuchi for a little bit until you can get another Yamato. Um, so, and then I only run two turtle. Twirl. Um I think the running three isn't as good. Uh, I have noticed a couple of points where I've wanted three, but for the most part, two has always been really good to me. Uh, same with two Quillen. And I only run the two Quillen because I run one Centipede to help take care of back row. Uh, and that's it for the Bujin variety of the monsters. The rest of it, uh, the one bear, because, well, Bujins run tanky, so you might as well run the bear just in case. And then the one Honest because it's a light archetype. So that's it for the monsters. I don't run Seas or Veilers uh, in the deck normally. And then your trap lineup is Double Bujin Regalia. This card can either extend the uses of your Cranes, or your Quillins, or your Turtles, because it can either add one from the graveyard back to your hand, or from removed to the graveyard. So it just extends the uses of all your Bujins to protect I your might be the only one. I might not be the only one thinking this, but why is this card common? It should have been at least a super. It's that good. It's pretty good. Uh, and then Double Fiendish Chain. Should for, be triple. It probably should be. <laughs> uh, and then... Because you special summon a lot. Vanity's Emptiness, yeah, because uh, this deck special summons so much that Vanity's Emptiness, well, I don't know. Uh, that's, I lost what I was saying there. It's too good to have in this deck because Yamato gets around Emptiness because it doesn't send from the deck to the graveyard. It adds it to the hand and then sends it to the graveyard. Uh, Crane doesn't hurt Emptiness. And for the most part, all your other spells and traps mostly remain on the field, so it doesn't really hurt. But then you have your one of your bottomless your torrential and your compulsory. I don't run warning. I just don't, I don't find it worth running, even at one anymore. So even with it just being warning, and that's it for the trap lineup. Over to the spell lineup, you have double Tinky because well, Tinky makes the deck a lot more consistent. So you run it. Uh, I learned double MST because uh, Bujins have other ways of dealing with back row, uh, and mostly because double dress and triple lance so that's why i only double mst because any back row you have i can answer most likely uh i play kaiser coliseum instead of black garden coliseum uh when i've been testing it coliseum does more work than black garden does so it's i don't know it's a matter of preference but coliseum i feel is better than black garden uh triple pot of duality again to help with consistency to help you get your mottos to the hand blah 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 and then the two one of spells I play are Carnation and Dark Hole. Uh, I'm, I may even take Carnation out because it's I don't find it that good. I never draw it at the right time. And then over to your extra deck, you have the only mandatory card of the extra deck really is Susanoo, and it's not even really mandatory. Uh, it just helps push and it can add cards if you know if you can summon him. That's fine and dandy. He's a Beast Warrior and he's a Light, so all your support works with them and then for the rest of the for the rest of the extra deck you just run your generic rank fours level chain cowboy uh the reprinted corn ship of blackness, blackness. 
And then courtship of blackness. Yep. That's a new your name. Your Maystroke, your Dweller, a Roach, a Utopia, uh, a Crazy Box, a Butterfly Assassin, Cataster because he sides Valor. Yeah. He doesn't mean it, but he sides it. So you even necessarily so. Yeah. You lie. Um, and that's. I mean, that's it. Um. What? Oh, um, but like the deck, the deck works really well. It's very heavily control based. Uh, it kind of gets hurt by things. It gets hurt by all of the drain cards in some way, shape, or form. Mind drain hurts your cranes and your honest. Soul drain hurts your turtles and your quillins. And skill drain, well, pretty much just stops you in your tracks. And then like cards like soul release, you know, if you get a graveyard set up and they're just like soul release, and you're just like, well, I lose. So, but that's when you side in an Imperial Iron Wall. Yep. And then you cry because you can't use Turtle or Quillen. Oh well, it <laughs> happens. Yeah, happens, right? <laughs> it happens. The only the only time I consider Imperial Iron Wall is against freaking prophecies because it hurts them more than it hurts me. But yeah, that's the deck profile, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. I have no clue what Mike is showing you right now. Not that really, because I was way over there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. great job. Um, so but yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you think, give me some suggestions. This was a really long-ass video, I already know it. Uh, peace.